Working with profiles can be a little confusing and I don't recommend that the end user try this unless they've spent an extensive amount of time reading the help section located here. For the technician, um, profiles, think of profiles as like a recording schedule. That's pretty much what we mean when we talk about that. And the first thing we have to do is we have to design the profile. Designing the profile is done here. And we're going to come into here. And this is where we this is where we design a profile under the record tab. And what we have to do is we have to tell it okay. Um, the first profile, uh, let me go over here for a second. I'm going to go into tools and let's go into profiles. You can name the two profiles here. They're, by default, they're profile one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. I named one. Profile one as motion, profile two as constant. So you name them here, and then we can back out of here, and we'll go into a specific camera, and then we'll design what, what that means. So for example, under motion detection, it's going to record video only when it's triggered to record video. So that's a correct setup for motion detection when triggered. We can create an alert folder and uh, pre-trigger if you want some pre-record. We can turn that up. Uh, don't turn it up much because it does use a lot of hard, you know, a lot of system resources. And uh, then you can combine how long you want the video to record. Don't ever go over X amount of time before you start a new file. Now, if we change that and we go to constant record, now we have to tell it how we want it to work with constant record. Well, by the descriptive nature, I named it constant record. I could call it Joe, Bob, Bill, what have you, but I called it constant record. So I'm going to set that up so it records continuously. It's always recording. So uh, to meet the name that I described it, we'll call it continuous. And then as we work our way down through here, uh, pre-trigger one, combine everything within two hours, and uh, then we have constant record program. If we want that to apply to all cameras, then we can click on copy, paste to all, and then that'll do a global setting all the way across. So again, this is what do we want to do with whatever we name this record profile. I called it constant record. Uh, we want that to record continuously and we're going to say OK to this. Motion detection is here, create as a trigger folder. So we'll say OK to that. That's set up. Camera's just going to reset here real quick. And then we can come back in here to options and we can go to profiles. As you can see, it's named. And then we can go to a global schedule. This is going to apply to all cameras. It's a global setup. So right now I have globally set up that motion detection is recording at all times and you can see that up here. If I changed it and said you know what I want a constant record on Saturdays. There you go. It's done. Now it's going to constant record on Saturday. It'll flip over assuming your time and date stamp is correct. It'll flip over. So we can come out of there, go into motion detection, click on that, and then we're done. If you wanted to do like, um, like a half a day, you could do it that way. And now we've got half a day on Saturday, well, the early morning hours anyways. These two little dots right here refer to the sun, as you can see, relative to sunrise, sunset. Uh, not even going to get into that. If you want to get into that, then you can go up here and go into your help section and you can work your way through it. And under the schedule section, this is also where you set up your tra traffic signal and camera pause. So when you click this button up here, this is what you're telling it to do. And that gives you a pretty good idea what you're doing with profiles. If you set it up for motion detection like almost all systems are, you'll see it all green. You can name this motion detection, save that, and then go into camera, go into record, motion detection. Again, you can name this Bill, Bob, Sue, or Betty. I named it motion detection, so I've got it when triggered. And that'll do your motion detection for you. And that hopefully should give you a pretty good idea how to work with profiles.